Words cannot describe how grateful I am that people did not vote the crowd tank. I actually tried to stay up last night and catch them when they first dropped, and I thought it would be like midnight or 1 o'clock. Well, it turns out they came out um, at 3 a.m. my time, so unfortunately I did not get the first look at the Lasertrons here, so thank you for your patience, but we still got a video out on day one here and just look at the Lasertron Mark II's look at how broken they are for a proto troop they're probably in my opinion the best proto troop maybe maybe they're like 1A 1B with the um, melon bombardiers because those are also really good but cryo tanks or uh, cryo tanks no not cryo tanks Lasertrons just do so much AoE damage not that the melon bombardiers don't but it's like more downfield down base type of damage and I stacked up bases for two days on my map just for when the laser Tron came into town so here we go let's get our second base here if I had some advice for you for this cycle uh, just invest in offensive statues because there is no way your base is defending against um, against a bunch of laser Trons I've learned that the hard way and also um, I don't have a full offensive lineup, and uh, even when I'm unboosted, I still just absolutely obliterate bases. And I've tried, I've tried with uh, ice statues and prototypes to fend them out. And unless you've got all 12 of your statues or 10 of your statues, um, ice statues, there is no way you're going to be able to defend against this. It even uh, was was breaking records on the Mega Crab whenever they overlapped with the Mega Crab. Even Doctor T could not fend them off but already goes uh down goes base two this troop is just so fun as well and i know we have a few um quite a few lower level viewers watching this who probably haven't unlocked the laser tron and that's quite unfortunate because it is honestly a blast and i'm gonna be honest i don't even know the level when you unlock the laser tron but i know a few uh of you have lived through that by the time Proto troops were introduced. I was already high enough level in Boom Beach that I didn't have to go through the grind of unlocking them. They were already just unlocked. But uh, for you guys who um, did unlock it or know when you actually unlock the laser trons, how about you guys drop a comment down below because uh, there's people that don't know, including myself. So I'll learn something new as well. But uh, just you know, gives gives light at the end of the tunnel for the people who haven't unlocked it yet. And then hopefully, unless you're really close, hopefully by the next time um, you, next time the laser trons come out, you'll actually be able to use them because this is a blast. However, I wish we had um, enough range to take out that shield generator. We're just gonna bard it down. Apparently there was two right here. My critter's doing a great job on the other side. And you might be wondering, why am I using uh, Captain Everspark for um, this strategy and there is no reason I think it would be more beneficial to use private bullet but Everspark is just the hero I had when I'm using it and it looks like it's working out pretty well but overall I think bullet is quite stronger with the laser trons just because he adds that tanky presence now laser trons are really good but and, and they look tanky because they kind of look like tanks but do not get it mixed up they are um, kind of a squish troop you can see right here actually okay I, I saw bullets out there and I thought it was the laser tron that got taken and I was like you know I might have to take that back that looks pretty tanky but it was just private bullet being a beast right there um, unfortunately he did die I got an energy drink popped but he was just shocked that whole time but it doesn't matter because look at how quick these attacks are laser trons are just way too good they should not be a proto troop in Boom Beach. Um, like, they're just so broken. That's the thing about proto troops. They're either massively um, overpowered or just one of the worst things in existence. And you don't even want to use it. But look at that. We just destroyed a boosted ice base with laser trons. Now, we did lose a few. Um, I guess if you do go the route of a few ice statues and prototypes, you can collect those diamonds. It, it's kind of like a diamond farming strat where people will have the confidence to still attack your base. Um, and they might take it out, uh, but you still get those diamonds from all the troops lost. But that's okay. I'm okay with giving other player diamonds here. 
um, by losing troops. As long as I can take it out in the end, I'm more than happy to spend the gold that it costs for laser trance to um, to the extent of where I'm still gaining gold because with proto troops like this, they are undoubtedly very expensive and take a long time to retrain. So um, I would not recommend going this route if you have low gold or not instant training because I think they do take quite a bit to retrain. But I don't think I've used a laser trance without having instant training. So I don't even know their training speed. Can we get an info on that? Let's see. So yeah, it takes 24 minutes to get a full one. I guess that's that's not too bad. Considering if you only lose a couple, you still have all those other laser trons you can uh, rely on. And they are pretty good even if you have lower numbers. Once you get two per boat, that, it, it just makes it broken. Maybe that's what the broken aspect of this is. You can just hold too many of them. Like 16 laser trons is too much. And we let Bullet go for a ride there. And I think we're gonna lose a couple laser trons because of it. The grappler initially, the the grappler that initially took Bullet um, kind of helped me out, get got the damage focused off the beach. But then the second one just made the boom cannons around their uh, outer range and did not want to focus bullets so that was tragic and now we are in an awkward position because the grapplers are going to pull the laser trons in we need separation with this and uh, honestly this base has put up quite a fight against me i still think we should take it out but uh yeah it's getting kind of close and that shock blaster is just in range can we get a couple more energy i need a big time shock bomb here on the oh no we are not looking too good right now we need a shock bomb right here oh my gosh i missed oh no this isn't good I, I was talking about how you have no chance defending it and here we go if we would have just given bullet a little bit of an energy drink we would have been fine and you know we would have had a tank but because we lost bullet so quickly we are just not in a good place right now that rocket launcher is getting in range the Lasertron is getting in range of the rocket launcher. We're going to flare this one back. I see that one. Gosh, I really hope there is a dead zone there. Oh, no. So we are close to out of gold now. That was uh, not the greatest attack. But we are going to we are gonna prioritize private bullet this attack. That is essential here. So we're going to get that grappler shock. And we're just going to let bullet uh, hold his ground there. Shoot, he was able to get grappled still. That is not what you want to see. And we just shocked him at the same time. But hopefully, oh my gosh, once he gets super low here. No, the other the other grappler is back up. All right, this is awkward. So grapplers are the Lasertron's weakness. Who would have thought? This is why I really don't like grapplers. They are so tanky. And they, like you can just throw a shock bomb on them and protect all your units like this. But there we go. Okay, so Bullet got his energy drink. So he's going to get more health. Let's get another one popped. Uh, but we just got to get rid of this grappler. Are you kidding me? How is that still up? I thought I barded it down. And it's still... Okay, there we go. Finally taking out the grappler. And now we have lost so many laser trons. I don't know if I'm going to fully be able to retrain them here. But uh, this is this is a bit awkward. Um, because the, this base was a clear weakness to the laser trons. Or at least for me using the laser trons. That should not have been... As hard as it actually was that that's a little bit embarrassing but it is what it is i'm just so excited about the laser trons you know pumping them up you know they're not perfect um and we are down to sixty-four thousand gold so let's let's not lose another battle here and then we got um someone here taking my advice of not using any ice statues for this week um it was actually re reverse psychology because um i uh you know, I knew I would have troubles and I need uh, more of the free bases to get gold. And this is very awkward because those two boom mines are going to haunt me, aren't they? We don't want to lose those laser trons right there. And is there any mines under these statues? I didn't see any. All right, that is good. So the laser trons are just quick enough to close the gap on private bullet. That is... That is um, Wow, I gotta keep that in mind because we don't want our laser trons walking out and dying here. We we need full protection on our laser trons for this battle. Have we lost any? We have not lost any. We're gonna try and keep a layer of critters in front of them. 
critter spawn is boosted in the tribe, so that is quite helpful. And also, um, you know, think about other troops like grenadiers and all that that can take out critters. It is nice that the critters do not get taken out by the laser trons, but fortunately we did not lose any troops that game. That is, uh, or that battle. That is great, but we're going to hop into one more for now, then we got to save some for a grind later. Um, but this base has a good amount of gold. Let's get our troops down and we're going to have them flank him from the side and I'm hoping they get a good, some good diagonal action here. You know, it might have made more sense to attack from this and hope they would go up this way with their diagonal lasers, but uh, I, I'm not sure how much that would really change things here. Here we can get uh, more of the critical defenses here being shock launchers. Uh, and boom cannons take it out and also hopefully getting that doom cannon once we get through that and we should be good for here let's uh let's bark down these shock blasters that was making me panic a little bit with bullet on the one attack i may or may not have failed um and this is very awkward i did not realize the boom surprise that is error on my part so we are gonna have a steep cost by the end of this attack to retrain the laser trons. I think I should get enough in return. We didn't lose too many, so that is the bright side. Um, and we should have probably 600,000, 700,000 gold used to retrain. And if we can't get all them retrained, that's still fine because I think these laser trons, um, you know, it, they, they were still powerful after their compadres died there. Um, so you don't need all of them to really go into the battle. And we were almost exactly at 700,000. We were at 700,863. Um, and that cost to retrain it was not that much. So that was clutch. But that's going to be it for my grind uh, today. Enjoy the Lasertrons, in my opinion. Um, the favorite proto troop, definitely top three when it comes to how good they are. Um, of the other proto troops, but yeah, we'll see you guys in tomorrow's boom beach video. Bye. Bye